Well, all eyes were on the sky tonight searching for falling space junk. The Chinese space station crashed to Earth several hours ago. KCAL 9's Crystal Cruz visited the Griffith Observatory where the space watchers were trying to get a good view. People come out here to check out the view of Los Angeles and to also learn about space and tonight about space debris. I don't believe you. I think it's April Fool. No April Fool's joke here. The hype happened. The Chinese space station Tiangong broke through the atmosphere over the Southern Pacific Ocean Sunday afternoon. Maybe we will become a wishing star. We can make a wish. The Chinese space station was as large as a bus, and scientists expected the majority of it to burn up before hitting Earth. But some had plans just in case. Bad. Not as good as I could. Rocket scientist Olympia LaPointe was confident we would all be okay. In the atmosphere, are several layers, and it goes through literally fire. And so, literally, we have debris, metal, uh, we have plastics, we have things that are literally burning up and disintegrating. LaPointe says space debris is common. Space stations were not ever meant to completely be in the atmosphere and stay in the atmosphere. Satellites are not even supposed to stay in the atmosphere forever, they do drop. This is something that is quite common for anything that we place to circulate around the Earth and be in its orbit. Some visitors at the Griffith Observatory wondered where pieces of Tiangong would land. Well, I sure hope it doesn't fall on my house. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> Hopefully some field <laughs> or perhaps in the desert. Yes. Hope for the best, really. Yeah. I think that's kind of the way that we have to think about life in general anyway. And scientists hope as technology advances, these space stations will be able to stay up there for a lifetime. I'm Crystal Cruz, KCAL 9 News.